with state GOP chapters from coast to coast. Now, like I mentioned earlier, now that Trump is officially the Republican nominee, the whole party is just going to fall in line, and that includes the GOP big donors with deep pockets. Republican Jewish Coalition CEO Matt Brooks, he said that it also gives a tactical advantage. It makes it easier in terms of some of the execution on some of the joint events. So it's a win-win. Trump is also expected to get a boost very soon from some of the wealthiest Republicans in the country. That's when some of the biggest donors in the GOP, some of whom who stayed on the sidelines or supported the former president's rivals during the recently concluded primary season, will be hosting a fundraising event to be held April 6th in Palm Beach, Florida. Billionaire investor and hedge fund founder John Paulson's also hosting the top dollar fundraiser. Entitled the Inaugural Leadership Dinner, the event will be held at Paulson's Palm Beach home, which isn't too far from Trump's Mar-a-Lago club and resort. Word of the gathering is a further sign of the coming together of much of the Republican donor class around Trump. Now that he's clinched the GOP nomination and is the party's presumptive presidential nominee, a source in the former president's political orbit called the fundraiser a come home to Trump moment. In fact, Paulson already confirmed in an official statement that they're receiving an overwhelming amount of support from donors. Among those listed as co-chairs of the fundraiser are hedge fund billionaire Robert Mercer and his daughter, Rebecca Mercer. They were major boosters of Trump in 2016, but mostly sat out the former president's 2020 re-election campaign. Also on the list of co-chairs are oil magnate Harold Hamm, hotelier and space entrepreneur Robert Biglow, and casino giant Steve Wynn and Todd Ricketts, a co-owner of the Chicago Cubs, a member of TD Ameritrade's board of directors, and former RNC finance chairman. Two top Trump allies, businessman and New York Jets owner Woody Johnson, who served as the former president's ambassador to the United Kingdom, and Wilbur Ross, who was Trump's secretary of commerce, they're also listed on the fundraising invitation. As they explained, there's no question that most of the major donors who were with DeSantis or Haley are now coming on board and they're rallying around the president. It looks like everyone realizes what's at stake in this 2024 election year. One of these mega donors coming back to the fold is oil drilling chief executive Dan Eberhardt. He raised big bucks for Trump's 2020 re-election campaign, but backed DeSantis in the 2024 nomination race. Now he's back supporting Trump and is attending the April 6th fundraiser. And it looks like he's bringing friends as he said that many big donors are coming around now that the nomination process is over. Those who are attending the fundraiser are expected to donate from $250,000 and up to over $800,000, the highest level of contributions to the Trump 47 committee as the joint fundraising committee is known, is called the Ultra MAGA and is designated for individuals who donate $814,600, the current limit that one person can currently donate to Trump 47. Trump's campaign and its donors are not panicking. Several members of the Republican donor class suggested in interviews that they expect money will only make so much of a difference in the election rematch between two candidates who are already very well known and well friends and family. For more insightful discussions and updates on the latest political news, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.